Oh, I'll try, I'll try. So I'm trying some dark homemade chocolate, but it looks like some vanilla inside. Oh my god. Good evening everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful Munar, Kerala, India, the tea capital of southern India. Tonight I'm going on an Indian street food tour of Munar town. If you guys don't know, this is like lots of mountains up here, lots of good food, tea, infinite tea, coffee. I'm staying here at the Dreamcatcher Resort and from here it's a one hour drive to Munar town. The reason why it takes so long is because the roads are winding, they're steep, lots of potholes, there's dirt roads, lots of forests as you can see. And then after we eat some street food, we're gonna come back here to Munar town and have some barbecue dinner. Are you guys ready? You excited? Let's go to Munar town. Kunjit Tanni. And what's here, this market? It's a market, a local market. So Quinchitani, local market, very small. This is on the way over to Munar, obviously. There's a few towns like this along the way, right? Many like this? Yeah? There's always like small, small like centers to villages. People go, they have their market there. I don't think that many people live here. They live nearby in the mountains, right? There are people for those who are living in plantations. Okay. These, these are plantation area. And a lot of people are basically from Tamil as well as Malayal, Kerala. And this is a plantation area. In Munar town, there's a lot of people from Tamil Nadu or Tamil Nad, and that's right next to us. It's a neighboring state. Appam and chicken fry. Okay, appam and chicken fry. Yes. Let's see. Yes. Do you think so? Yes, yes. I, I hope so. Yes, yes, yes. The main thing I want is puchka, pani puri. Pani puri. Yes. Kalgopa. Yeah. <laughs> We've been climbing up the mountain for about one kilometer. It is extremely <laughs> steep, crazy steep. Now we're at another little junction, right? Mini junction here. Yeah. Wow, the mountains, look at that. All the mist, the sun just set. So many cars rolling through, and there's so many rooms, like budget rooms, all available throughout. So basically, those are like homestays, right? So that's all that's available throughout Munar. And this is just the hilliest place I've ever been. It's very different from Tegari. Super winding roads. I've never been to a place like this. I've been to some place in a Malaysia similar, Cameroon Highlands, but not this tight. It's like we're like straddled between all these mountains. We're about 20 minutes out from Munar. As you can see, we're inside a valley right now in between two huge mountains. And what you see right here is dozens and dozens of tea plantations. Obviously, this is one of the biggest producers of tea in all of India, the tea capital of Southern India. So you're gonna have tea plantations everywhere, just forever. And yeah, I mean, the sun has set, so you can't see too much now. I mean, we're gonna get there. Once we get there, I know Munar is gonna be lit up because obviously it's a town. So we're entering Munar town, it's first old Munar, and then one kilometer later is Munar proper, right? It was like a bigger commercial spot, right? And then in between you have like some resorts, some restaurants, and this is Munar town. Pani puri, whatever you want, man, whatever you want. Yeah, we're gonna try Pani puri first. Nice, oh dude, it's cold. Nice, beautiful temperature right now. So small town, they have this like median in between this like mini highway that goes through the town, right? The main road. And here we have Pani Puri, Puchka. And what else do they have here? What do you want? Whatever we want, Bell Puri. Pani Puri. It's Pani Puri? Okay, you want to try Pani Puri? Yeah. If you guys know me, you know how much I love Pani Puri, Puchka, Golgopa. So good. It's a little crisp ball, they put a hole in it. And they fill it up with like some masalas, the pani, which is the water. Sometimes it's spicy, sometimes it's not. Oh, I can't wait, that looks so good. And he's serving like five pieces on a dish from, from what I see there. Wow, so many different spices he's throwing onto to this. And that's the pani, right? He's making pani right there? All right, pani puri. So I've never seen it like this. Usually you ask pani puri and they'll give it to you until you tell them to stop. This one, he just gave us three, right? Yes. This is like not spicy. Mm, love it, man. It's almost like floating pani puri. It's so full of pani. In the inside, as you can see, nice little crisp. Oh wow! Let's try another one. What am I do now? Make adventures. I'm gonna pour the rest of the pani in there. Like that. 
How's that you do it? Mmm. How much was it? Yeah, I'll pay it. How much? How much? 30 rupees. 30 rupees? Yeah. So 10 rupees each? So this place is called Eben Bani Puri. And he has Bani Puri, he has noodles, he has rice, and he's making some crazy masala right there. It's like sizzling. I think we're done with this place though. So right next to that place, we have like five other little vendors. And this place, whoa. So he has <laughs> barota and he has this, which is us. Uh, String hoppers. Wow. What else do you have? Everything looks so good. So here he has chicken fry. He also has quail fry. And this is something very special. They have tapioca. But this is different. This has like curry leaves on top. It has, what else is that? Peppercorn. has chilies. Wow. How do you eat that? Just like that? Yeah, man. You can eat it. You want to Like that? Yeah, I'll try it. A little bit. Yeah, for sure. That looks too good, yeah. too good. And they also have some tables here in between the vendors. So you can sit down and eat. Dosa, is it tamal dosa or dosa from he's Kerala? Dosa. Tamalese dosa? Yeah, he's yeah. Space dosa. See that. And because a lot of people here are from Tamil Nadu, they make the dosas their way, which is crispier. It's fluffy, crispy. It's very different from the way they make it here in Kerala. And it looks amazing. So I think we're gonna get a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of everything. Everything. We're starting off with the chicken fry and the tapioca. So we're supposed to do, grab some chicken fry, still really hot, put it in here. Woo! Bring it up, right? Ooh, curry leaves. Mix a little bit of tapioca. Tapioca is still a little hard. I mean, it's, it's amazing masala, not too spicy. Mmm. What I like is that a lot of curry leaves with the tapioca. Tapioca, it's mild. A little bit of peppercorn. Nice, mushy. This one actually tastes like a lot like cassava. I didn't know this, but tapioca is a, like a specialty here in Munar. Yeah, yeah, majority of the population family. Yeah? Yes. The total population is one lakh only here. There's 100,000 people who live here in Munar, and 70,000 plus are from Manadu because that's the neighboring state and the border is right here. After 28 kilometers, Tamil, Tamil Nadu starts. Mm -hmm. After 28 kilometers, Tamil Nadu starts. I think I'm just going to grab a lot of curries and see with chicken. Wow. Mm. I love masala here. Mm. A little crunchy. Mm. Wow, great combination. It's like nice and soft flesh mixed with a little dense tapioca. Mm. So you can see, grab some of this. Try to find some good flesh here. Go get some tapioca. Just like that. And eat. The chicken alone. This is a pretty decent meal. It's not amazing, but it's different. I've never really combined chicken fry with tapioca before. Mm. Cool thing with tapioca is really curry leaves. And you have to get really deep in here and pull off flesh, right? Ah, it's still really hot. Do my best here. Parota. Parota? Yeah. It's different parota though. Yes. This one's not like the other ones I've tried. <coughs> He's doing something crazy over there. So the parota has lots of layers, lots of layers. So what you do is you break off a piece of chicken, right? Break off whatever you can, right there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Delicious, fleshy chicken with the parota. Right there in one bite. Mm. Mm -hmm. Get some of that. Ooh, somebody's. The guy in front of me is doing some crazy stuff with chilies. My nose is dying right now. So get that. Just like that. That's how you do the parota with the chicken. Chicken fry with some masala. It's appam. That's appam? Yes. So the appam is very similar to the dosa. Very similar. Okay. 
So same thing, right? Yes, yes, similar to dosa. Just go in? Yes. Yeah, the thing is that this one, this apam is not crispy like a dosa is usually, right? Yes. Same, same concept, same thing, I mean, basically. Mmm. Oh, the combination? The apam, the chicken fry, the best. Oh wow, it's good, it's good. Soft. It's, it's basically the same thing as a, you know, like a Southern Indian dosa Tamil style. It is that it's not crispy. Mm. We have rice and lentils. I love it. I really love it. Go in with that bomb. Grab like that. It's so good. It's starting to fill up, guys. Even though it's a little bit. All these things are like doughy. <laughs> Lots of carbs. Yeah, this is the best. That bomb. But oh, that's great. Bone better. A bomb. Let's go in. Let me just wait my appetite. Mmm. The cool thing is that the doughy part of the bomb really get absorbs all this masala and some curry leaves, mix it in and that. Oh. That's good. London BBC This guy right here is making like the best dosas ever. Super crispy, really big. He actually just threw some egg onto this one. Threw some red pepper chili. Wow. Look at this thing, it looks incredible. And then right here, this section, you can see everybody's eating dosas. Some people are eating string hoppers, mostly eating dosas. Oh wow, this is for real, for real. And the reason why you can find this dosa here is because people are from Tamau, and there they make it like this. In Kerala, they don't make it like this. They make it smaller. I prefer this one, it's my favorite. Egg dosa. No, just dosa. Dosa is favorite. Crispy, crispy dosa. All right, so we're gonna walk a little bit to see if we find anything else. We have a Hindu temple right here. We have some vendors. Hey guys. Wow. Cricket. What is this? Pharmacy. Walking through the center of Munar, we have a church right here. Huge church. Lots of tuk tuks. Everybody's everywhere. Sugarcane. Whoa, this church is wild. I haven't seen a church like this before. This church, little fire right there. Church at the top. Tomorrow there is a festival called Pongal, Tamil festival. So that's why they are carrying this sugar cane along with them. Oh it's yeah? It's part of that festival. So it's an offering? Yes, tomorrow. It's a market here. The market? It's a market start here. Wow. So there's the market. So fruit and vegetable market, spices as well. Got rosaries. Whoa. This is nice. So we have small building over here. Lots of vendors. Lots of bananas. Never any bananas. You like bananas? Yes. <laughs> chocolates. You want to see that? This is a market. This is also market. But there's chocolates here? So we are reaching there. We are going there. Chocolate. Ho chocolate. Homemade? Yeah, homemade chocolate. No way. Yeah, it is there. I'll show you. Come. I didn't know they had homemade chocolate here. Yes, yes. I, I tried in Tegri, in Tegri, but I didn't know they had Same it here as well. Available here also. Same available yes, here? Yes. Amazing. Whoa. And it's, uh, I love the weather right now. The weather is really, really nice. Nice and cool. Must be like 65 degrees. And a t shirt, you're perfect. Whoa, so many fruits. Fruits, fruits, fruits. Vegetables. Vegetables. Wow, this is a labyrinth. So many different lanes, no? Yes, yes, so many lanes. So chocolate this way? Yeah, this way we have it. So th now this part of the market is like a covered market. Different things here. Still vegetables and fruits, more spices. Oh, it smells so good. 
Spices. Spices. Homemade chocolate. M S P E Suns. Homemade chocolate. No, Main Bazaar. <laughs> <laughs> it's homemade. Hey, my friend, how you doing? You good? Yeah, good. Can I try anything? Oh, I'll try, I'll try. So I'm trying some dark homemade chocolate, but it looks like some vanilla inside. Oh my god. It is dark chocolate, but it's a little milky. Mmm. Nice, sweet. It's really good chocolate, my man. Really good. Here we have some very unique chocolate. Rice crispy chocolate. Mm-hmm. Crispy rice, right? Like puff rice. It's our chocolate. Mm. I like this one actually a lot. It's actually darker than the other one. Nice like little grains inside. Mm. This one's good. Really good. And this is crispy white chocolate. Mmm. Nice and crunchy. Mmm. Good chocolate. A lot of people don't like white chocolate. I like white chocolate and I like super dark chocolate. Wow. Dark raisins. This is about dark. I'm gonna try one more. Dark chocolate. Dark. Just dark. Pure dark chocolate. That's the best one. Yeah. Best one. Like it's almost like, like it tastes like 85% cacao. Mmm, super dark. Still a little milky though. Wow. When you come to Munar, come to this shop and try some chocolates. He has 21 different types of chocolate. He'll let you try all of them, but you gotta buy. Right? They have to buy. <laughs> what's up, guys? What's up? Thank you. Thank you. That was good, but I'm still really hungry. I think we're done with street food here. Then we're gonna go back to the resort. We got still a 45 minute drive back. It's uh, it's one hour here, 45 minutes back that way because you're going downhill. Yeah, this is a great place. I, if you have time, I highly suggest coming out here, exploring Munar, seeing the market, seeing the different places in terms of tea. We're gonna explore way more while we're here, but just tonight, this is it. Wow, maybe let's go shopping. Before we go, I'm gonna stop into the shop and get another torat because mine is like falling apart. It's starting to really come apart. I use it every single day. It's really sweaty. Mm -hmm. Let's go into the store and get another torat. Okay, which color do you want? I want the most traditional. Is this traditional? But maybe the different color stripe? Okay. They'll show you the colors. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, they'll show you the colors. So it's called torte in an yes. Italian. Torta is a torte. cake. Is a cake. cake. Okay. Torta in, cake. In Italian. Yeah. So this is torte here. Okay. In Malaram. In Malayalam torte. <laughs> <laughs> that shop unfortunately ran out of the white traditional one. So I said, let's get out of here. Let's go look for the white one. I don't want a regular different color. That's not traditional Carolese or, Car or Malaram. White one. Let's find it. There should be a place right here. This place is bumping, bumping, bumping. And over here is another little stall. Pani Puri stall. I move Pani Puri. Wow. It's all about Pani Puri here. I mean, Pani Puri is basically everywhere, but I haven't seen it anywhere else in Kerala. Unless you go looking for a little stall like that in all the major cities, right? So unfortunately, everything is closing. It's 8.30, it's really, really cold. It dropped like five degrees really, really fast. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go straight to the car and fly to the Dreamcatcher Resort. It takes like 45 minutes to get there. So we get to like at 9.15. We'll probably have a delicious barbecue. We're gonna have a delicious barbecue and some beef fry. Are you guys ready? Let's get in the car and let's go back to the Dreamcatcher Resort. It's like pitch dark right now. Not one light. The only light I see is cars. That's it. Nothing else. Tomorrow's gonna be the same thing, right? In the morning? Just pure darkness. Wow. I mean, there's one hotel up here that's a lot of lights. That's it. Tomorrow we are going to the road where there is not much lights or buildings or anything like They are going to buy torat. Alright, this guy really wants me to get another torat because mine is like falling apart. We're Literally in the middle of the road, here at this textile ready made. This is nice. So, the way it works is that you choose the one you want and she cuts it. Alright, so this is my old one, it's falling apart, see? So, I got the new one. Wrap it up.
Yeah? Yes. Good? Yeah. All right, how do I look? Oh, fell off. <laughs> it's just the problem is sometimes it's too tight, you know? Perfect. Let's go. Yeah. Bye, thank you, my friend. Thank bye. you. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> bye, bye. Our driver keeps leaving us. Where does he keep going? They will come back soon. Wow, I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, my friend. Whoa, hanging bridge. It's funny, I've never been to a hotel that has a hanging bridge like this. And now it is amazing. The hotel over the tea plantation. Oh man, the air is amazing. Barbecues on the sun deck. Woo! It's hard to get there. We're gonna pass the pool now. That was a beautiful pool. Yeah. It's fine. You see that? You're back. <laughs> back. <laughs> I was preparing for you this one. Coil. Coil barbecue. Oh coil. yeah? Yeah. Quail. We got quail. <laughs> <laughs> so a quail with a bonfire right here. Whoa, that's a lot of woo, woo, woo. I'm getting hit. <laughs> I got too much. Should I step on that? Yeah, you can go there, but by uh, knowing that uh, whether we have to make it or so we're gonna eat the quail by the pool. It's a little too crowded up there, and it's really, really hot with that fire. I mean, it was like blazing hot. We yeah, kept like throwing gas on top of it. So we're gonna eat right here and by the pool. This is great. So quail, mmm, looks so good with some some chutneys, huh? And check this out. We have quail barbecue. We have two different quails. One's spicy, one's mild. We have chicken, we have mayonnaise, and we have mint chutney. I'm here with Anita, and Anita's gonna show me how you eat this. It's a normal quail. Okay. Just. Let me take a little bit of the leg. Let's just take one leg. Just. Oh, so you put some stuff on top? Yes. Okay. Put some mint chutney. Mint chutney? Yeah. Yes. Let's see. Mm. Bones? Yeah. Yes, I'm sure. Mmm. Quail is much more delicate than chicken. Small bird. Mmm. Really good with the mint chutney. Mmm. Yes. It complements the spice really well. As well as the onions. And like fights the heat. Mmm. Not spicy at all. So good. That was really good. Same thing, right? Yes. One small change. Last time we are trying with mint chutney. This time we are trying with mayonnaise. Yeah. I don't like mayonnaise. I love mint chutney. Oh. I'm gonna stick to it. Let's do this. Mmm. Mmm, nice and spicy. Not too hot. Not so bad. And what I like is that it's a delicate bird. Mmm. So besides the leg you go in here, you get this crispy skin and flesh. The thing with the quail is that it's very little flesh. Very little. It's not like a, a chicken. That's bull, right? And here's a chicken. Oh wow, more mint chutney, straight on top. Mm. A lot more flesh, very juicy, crispy, mm. a little smoky barbecue taste. And guys, I'm sorry, but I poured that here. I only did that because I didn't want to make a mess, and it's only for us right now, we're eating all this. We have a surprise, we have beef fry, wow. That is so good. It looks so rich in spices. You got curry leaves like this one right here. Anita, we have to try this right now. Sure. Just dive into this delicious beef fry. Wow, so it's masala, beef is fried, 
curry leaves. Oh wow. It's chewy. It's tender. Mmm. Oh my god. Feels like it's been slow cooked. Mmm, masala's super rich, not too spicy. Lots of lots of black pepper. Got a lot of black pepper. It was amazing. I'm so happy right now. I'm very tired. It's already 10 at night. We had a long day, but to end with this delicious dish, I can't tell you how happy I am. And that's it guys, we ate a lot of food tonight, a lot. We started off by driving one hour straight to Munar. When we got there, it was already pitch black. We saw a bunch of street food vendors, start off with some delicious pani booty. It wasn't spicy, but it was really good. Then we saw like five more carts that were making dosas. What else were making? Um, Borata. Borata. Appam. Appam. And kappa. Kappa. And chicken fry. Chicken fry, yeah. Chicken fry was really good. Yeah. I had chicken fry. Chicken fry with the appam, which is like the, the pancake, right? Yeah, right there. That was delicious, good combination. Then after that, we went and explored the market area. Market's really, really cool. I mean, it got really cold all of a sudden, you know, like this, as soon as the sun went down, it got cold. It was, a, it was a great experience, and we actually ate some homemade chocolate. I tried like four of them. Super delicious. There's 21 different varieties there at that spot. And after that, we came back, and I bought myself the torti. Tort, yeah, right. Torti? Tort. 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 The tort. About the tort. We saw how they made some barbecue quail. The spicy one's fantastic. Chicken's good. Not my favorite. But this beef is bomba clot. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in incredible India. A little more. A little more beef. A little more. Mm. So good. Mm.